What's up nerds? Welcome back to another video and today I kind of have a uh, tutorial for you. It's a tutorial on how to make a ant queen claustral cell test tube setup. Uh, so basically what you do with your queen ants after you catch them so that they can start laying eggs and making you a colony. I caught a queen ant uh, a few days ago and I was just thinking, you know what, might as well make a video about how to make a test tube setup for those of you who don't know. Uh, I wasn't originally planning to make another ant video for a while, but uh, they seem to do really well. The reason I wasn't going to is because it, mo my target demographic isn't people who like ants, but they seem to do well, so maybe I'll make a few more ant videos, who knows. Anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get your test tube and then fill it up with water up to about a little above the halfway point. On the Ants Canada test tubes, they have a little line. I don't know if you can see that little line on there, but um, you just want to fill it a little bit above that. Then you're going to take a piece of cotton and kind of stuff it through the top. And twi I've found that twisting helps uh, kind of get it in. And you're going to want this to be as packed as tight as you can get it because you don't want the water to leak out. And then once you've got it basically all in there, what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your pin or stick or whatever and you're going to jab this down in here into the, the water as uh, hard and as fast as you can because you don't want there to be air bubbles, which isn't really a problem. They're just, they don't look very good. So I'm just going to jam this down real quick. Uh, one, two, three. Like that. And then you just kind of tamp it down. Make sure that it is good and sealed down there and the water will slowly just fill that cotton up as the water as the cotton absorbs the water uh, yeah and that's uh, the first couple steps done uh, the next step you want to do is actually get the queen in to the test tube which we're gonna do right now okay guys so the next step you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to get the queen out of whatever container container you got her uh, in and I'm just going to do this and kind of lightly tap, which is something you don't really want to do. But if she's at the other end, you can kind of coax her by doing, kind of getting her down. Okay, now she's here. Now you're just going to want to try to get her into the tube very quickly, like this. Just kind of coax her in. There we go, like that. Then you're going to get another piece of cotton and block the end like that and just kind of twist it in get it a little firm in there like like so and then you should have a completed claustral cell that you've just made for your new queen most of you guys probably already know how to make these things but just in case you don't I thought I would make a video about it um, and you know here she is so let's take a look at the queen okay guys so here she is here's our queen I believe from the small amount of research I've done, I believe she is a Campanonis Americanus um, species. Uh, that is what she looked like a lot to me, according to some of the pictures and some of the research I've done. Uh, she definitely looks like some sort of Campanonis because how large she is. This is a quite large queen um, that are, are really commonly found in Campanonis, uh, especially in North America. Um, so, you know, this species has, you know, kind of a darker head and thorax, and then the gaster is kind of red, reddish. Uh, she still has her wings, so she may actually be infertile, which would be bad because then we can't actually raise her into a colony. Uh, but there's also the chance that she just hasn't shed her wings yet, and she will uh, eventually lay eggs. Uh, and I'll let you guys know when that happens. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I think she's a beautiful looking queen. I hope she uh, survives and uh, she starts laying eggs. That would be great. Uh, so, yeah, this is just a close-up view of her. I thought I would show you guys uh, what she looks like. And, uh, yeah, so let's go on to the outro. Okay, guys, well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like and a subscription would be greatly appreciated. Uh, you know, leave me any comments you want about uh, what, you know, I should do next, uh, what kind of content you guys want to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make a test tube setup for your newly caught queen ants. I hope this, you know, helps some of you out. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.